Number two, church growth causes problems. Because when there's growth, there are structural problems, there's, there are changes, there are adjustments. So in verse 1, it says there were rumblings and discontentment. Okay. But the third one tells us what to do with this. Problems are always unmet needs. Problems are always unmet needs. The Greek-speaking Jews claimed their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution of food. Now, this is a very practical situation. You got the Greek-speaking Jews and you got the Hebrew-speaking Jews. And among their widows, they wanted to distribute food. Great. But then there was a problem with the administration and somehow or the other, the Greek-speaking Jews were being uh, neglected. Now, where there is a problem, there is a solution. Where there is an unmet need, there is a ministry. And that's what small groups can step up to and say, oh, we can do that. Let's take care of this ministry. So as you pray, as you see, as you look and as you hear problems, you can probably or see problems, you could probably respond in ministry.